So Professor Smith, in your lecture today, you talked about different learning styles when it comes to engaging youth in youth ministry. Uh, you talked about having an audio learner, a visual learner, and a kinesthetic learner. What are some different ways to implement that in Bible studies and some ways to connect with those different learning styles when teaching Bible to youth? That's one of the, um, the worries of my students when I start talking about learning styles and I talk about how important it is to try to touch on each one of the different learning styles while you are teaching a lesson. Because when you touch on a learning style that is particular to a particular student, you then engage them. They are much more engaged at that moment in the lesson. And so I try to think through my mind, first of all, the, the three biggies, auditory, visual, and kinesthetic, and then go beyond that um, to think about the multiple intelligences that Gardner, uh, that uh, James Gardner uh, introduced, and we talked a little bit about that in the lecture as well. But um, visual, uh, well, the PowerPoint was one way. Um, handouts, and I use colored paper a lot of times. Uh, that's another way of engaging those who are visual because their eye uh, is attracted to the color, their eye is attracted to the words on the page, and even the space, the way the spaces um, are, are, are shaped on the page. And so the auditory, the, the um, visual learner is one where you're thinking about what are ways, what are things that they need to look at. Maybe it might bring, mean bringing in a picture. It might be, mean bringing in a map or a chart. That's how we engage the visual learners. The auditory learners. Um, in the lecture today, uh, I invited everyone to, um, to, to meditate on, on the passage of scripture as well as the, the snack that they received. But I don't know if you noticed that I was playing music while you were doing that exercise. That's to engage the auditory learners. I also invited people to give feedback. Again, we're engaging the auditory learners. And so we don't always have to listen to music, but we can refer to songs. We can refer to phrases in songs that will engage the auditory learner. And then the kinesthetic learners. At the beginning of the, le of the presentation, before we even started, I went around to all the tables and asked everyone to go through some of the magazines and to pick out images. Um, that's the visual as well as the kinesthetic and to create a collage or to pull out images of uh, what today's youth might look like. And so that engages the, um, the kinesthetic learners. Having them stand up. If we had broken up into groups, which we did not have an opportunity to do today, um, I would have had the groups going to different places. That's engaging the, auditor the kinesthetic learners. Writing the prayer, kinesthetic learners. So those are all ways, um, and a lot of times people are afraid to, to try to incorporate the, uh, the learning styles because they think they have to do gymnastics and all of these academic feats in order to get them all in, and really it's just as simple as playing a little bit of music or asking someone to take a moment of quiet time and write out a prayer uh, or a response. And um, so those are just some of the things that I do. Um, and I don't make a big announcement about it, but we just try to weave them in seamlessly throughout the lesson.